Once it starts to hurt in a marathon, the negative thoughts come uh, quicker. A lot of it is mental in, in pushing those out with positive constructive thoughts, not letting them dwell and stew. It's relying and having confidence in your training that you're, you're able to do this, you maintain the same pace, you keep going and that you'll have the energy left right to the end of the race. My name is Eric Gillis. I'm a professional marathoner. I've been to two Olympics and hoping to go to Rio. I've done what I could in terms of qualifying. I've run the time that I wanted to run and now it's a wait and see until the end of April and find out if that time holds up. In 2011, I qualified for the Olympics by one second in Toronto. But there was a lot of uh, telling myself in that race to um, leave it all out there and that uh, even I thought about uh, how I was going to deal with it if I didn't make it and, and I knew that I would have uh, an easier time by uh, just giving it all that I had during the last you know, few kilometers of the race and pushing, getting every, every ounce I could out of uh, my legs. Well, I'm pretty focused on routine. Um, treat each marathon buildup as as a new one, so I'm creating a new routine for this buildup. It's a it's a long it's a it's a long preparation for one race, so it's it's best not to get uh, too lose too much sleep over getting excited about it.